Hey guys, how's it going? Brody here and welcome to Control. So I know I've already got a series running on the channel at the moment. Currently going through Dark Souls 3. Uh, I'm about 14, 15 episodes into that at present. But I wanted to start a new game, start a new series, just so that there was a bit of variety. Because Dark Souls 3 definitely seems like it's a bit of a long game. And... I would like a little bit more variety on the channel and, and in my upload schedule whilst I'm playing such a long game. So here we are. I've had control for a few months now. I picked it up on sale a few months back uh, and I haven't touched it. I've seen a couple of videos on it. I've seen the trailer, seen a couple of people play uh, small like 15 minute clips of it, but I've not touched it myself. And from what I can gather, it's weird. Is like super super weird so we're gonna give it a go like i planned on this being a bit of a break from weird with taking a break away from dark souls and giving it a bit of a, a different vibe in the videos that are going onto the channel but apparently i'm keeping it weird so if you want to get weird with me stick around we're going to be playing control alongside dark souls 3 and uh, I look forward to bringing you some more content in the future. Okay, guys, so I've already been through the options and I've lowered the music volume. And this game's actually got a real good option within it where you can disable copyrighted music. So I've checked that on. So if there are some silent spots in the music, it's because I've done that. And I don't want to get any copyright strikes within YouTube like I did. I've got one in the, the first series in The Last of Us. In one of the later episodes so yeah it sucked didn't like it so we're gonna jump in new game uh brightness now i'm playing in a dark room so i'm gonna bump the brightness up slightly i'm playing on a really old say really old it's about a five year old uh hd tv so the profile on it isn't that great so i always tend to bump the brightness up slightly playing with headphones text language english audio language english subtitles yes start new game that's interesting there's no difficulty options so maybe that's just the the game's as hard as it needs to be fair warning this is gonna be weirder than usual <laughs> so that's a helped. good start you called me so here I am I'm gonna turn the volume up slightly my end I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. Federal Bureau of Control. The and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. 
Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? Okay, so this is us now then, guys. That intro did not shed any light on what's going on so, so far. Um, so we are at the Federal Bureau of Control. So I know that the main character is called Jesse. This, this is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. How are you doing? Top of the morning to you. Um, okay, what's next? Beep, beep. Square. So I am playing on PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, so you might hear it try and take off like a rocket ship. It tends to, the fan tends to get really, really loud when I'm playing more up-to-date games. I've had it repaired a couple of times and the fan changed. It just seemed, doesn't seem to fix it. But, uh, I'll try to edit it out as much as possible. So, collectibles. Just checking this menu. So, we've got loadout. Which, I can't do anything with so far. Assets. Missions. And collectibles. Ah, oh, that's cool. Right, X-ray documents. Federal Bureau of Control. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Unauthorised weapons, pages, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices. I would be genuinely screwed because I always have my Switch in my bag now and uh, an iPhone and an Apple Watch. So... Anything smart. Well, I'd get in by myself because I am definitely, definitely not smart. Number two pencils. That's a bit obscure. Any objects considered iconic representations of an archetypical concept, e.g. rubber ducks or ketchup bottles. What? <laughs> All materials under Bureau investigation is to be bought. All material under Bureau investigation is to be bought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your superior immediately. Oh, you can zoom on that. That's cool. Um. Okay. Do I empty my pockets? Doors automatically open. What's that say? Internal lockdown in effect, building lockdown in effect, multiple... Well, I got in. Can't be that much of a lockdown. Multiple containment breaches detected, multiple building shifts detected. So apparently the environment in this game moves. So that might be what they mean by building shifts. Head of research override, HRA protocol activated. That's a pack of smokes. Okay, we've got run and move. There's no run button. Oh, apparently there is. <laughs> apparently there's a there's a sprint button. Okay, here we got Doctor Casper Darling. Hello, Darling. <laughs> Head of research. What? Our bureau at work. Director Zachariah Trench. Why would they have a picture of the janitor? That popped up on the intro, didn't it? Like, this game's going to be weird. I know it. Emergency first aid cabinet. Oh, okay, we've got a jump. We've got X.
Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Hello? Anybody here? Anybody here? That's not a door. <laughs> That's also not a door. And the door's on the other side. So I've got to walk around. Oh, vending machine. They're <laughs> like the most least branded vending machine in the world. There's like a... There used to be a brand called No Frills that used to have packaging like that. Like, not sponsored, I promise. But yeah, in the UK there was at least, anyway, No Frills, and it was like really just white, black and white basic packaging with no colour, no pictures, just what it was. Baked beans. <laughs> oh, square. Prohibited items reminder, security order. Attention all. So there's a lot redacted in this one. So let's, let's see if we can piece it together. A shark in his, although secure, permission to following basic protocol, shoot to kill, good luck. Cool. And that, alongside everything else so far, has made zero sense. <laughs> zero, zero. Hello? It's the dude from the painting. Hi, mate. Hey, excuse me. Oh, I didn't want to interrupt to. I wanted to listen to him. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. You are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you heart. What? I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti, the janitor, is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. That wasn't what I was thinking. I was thinking that he heard her internal monologue. He heard her internal monologue. Shit, this is fucking dark, man. Like, not subject matter, like genuinely, visually dark. Couldn't see anything in that room. Oh my goodness. Right, so... They weren't there a minute ago, were they? Did I run straight past those? Hang on. Okay, we've got run and move. There's no run button. Oh, apparently there is. <laughs> apparently there's a, there's a sprint button. Yeah, we came, right, that's where, we came in, and there wasn't an elevator there, there was a painting of a janitor, the janitor that we spoke to, oh, this game's going to mess with my head, it's going to mess with my noggin, the cell. and also I've got to stop playing it, pressing X. <laughs> I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Okay, so this, I'm guessing it's it's gone quieter with copyrighted music here. But, yeah, that's a bit... 
like we're what five minutes into the game and we're already messing with my head a little bit oh. so we're still in lockdown here in the UK uh, so I have you notice I'm not wearing my hat and it's because yesterday I took it upon myself to cut my own hair like many others have done within this lockdown um, I never normally usually have it this short on the top but needs must it's warm it's already like 22 here in the UK and but yeah, I so was hope... there for a moment oh. yeah a you little bit you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him So yeah, so yeah, you'll have to excuse the the haircut at the moment. It will be more styled or a better version of what I usually have in uh, the future. But at the minute, it is what it is. It's my lockdown haircut. I'm rocking it, and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Well, there is, but, but don't go. <laughs> so more unbranded stuff. Zachariah, what's his face again? Zachariah Trench. Those plaques are a little bit hard to read. I don't know if that's just me. So is that the guy that we saw shoot himself? Or put the gun to his head? Landscapes, like she talked about. Director's office. Starting from the top. Okay. Guessing padlock means locked. Unpa unlock padlock means unlock. Approved terminology reminder. I'm not going to read the Federal Bureau of Control bit at the top every time. Reminder re regarding drafting any public facing material while penning any notifications of death related to Willow, AWE. What the hell is AWE? Please adhere to the following guidelines. Words and phrases to use in service of his or her country. Regret, pride, proud, will be remembered. Phrases to avoid. Alaska. Alaska? Scissors, blood, bleed, loss, apologies, sorry. Oh. Marketing, get that. What's it doing in a fucking electrician's cupboard though? Can I turn that off? That's really fucking annoying. This dude's pictures is everywhere. What? He's here. Economy. The oldest man in the world. Retirement issue. We tell ourselves it's okay to be old. So yeah. Clearance level one. in any of these offices well, not that I can fucking see anyway I'm literally just looking for that icon that pops up if I'm honest oh it's that one trench do not disturb Barbara I'm not to be disturbed cancel all of my appointments for the rest of the day rest of the week I can't trust them Barbara not a single one trench so, is that his office? Oh dear. Shit. Oh, mate. Shit, shit, shit. So he did top himself. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Um, yeah? Okay. Who's she, who's she talking to? I'm guessing that might be like a, a voice in her head that we can't hear. Or is that copyrighted music? No. The poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, 
The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. What? <laughs> Okay. Like the sound design in this game is brilliant so far. I am fucking weirded out. <laughs> Some sort of like construct. I'm like in my own brain right now. Jump. Okay. Can you climb? Yeah. Can you jump and climb? Yeah. Melee. Melee? Melee? I never know how that's pronounced properly. Can you lock on? Nope, that's crouch. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a fucking force push. Um, hello? The same gun. <gasps> Bloaty gun. Never a good thing. Doesn't even look like he's got a barrel. Oh, it opened. That's cool. Okay. Now I have a gun. Now I have a gun. Ho, ho, ho. Mm -hmm. Well, come on now. Does the ammo regenerate? Yeah, buddy. That is awesome. What's that? Is that the pyramid that we keep seeing? That in my head? Is that in my, lurking around in my noggin? Oh, shit. Oh, the refill on it's not that bad. Recharging. Let's punch you. Pokey pokey. So headshots do count better by the look of it. Or you can just mash it into their body. Right, those little blue sparklies. Health regenerates enemies. Drop health elements when damaged, collect health elements. So that must be what they're. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Cool. 
Oh, I'm glad are quieted down you outside. are. Is it safe to go? Alright. Let's just, just stand all over his dead body. Alright, that's fine. Toggle map. Okay. Where's that telling me to go? Down and around? What? What the heck? What is that? You can't let this happen. 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 Oh, that's all like FMV thrown in there as well. Nice. I'm real bad, mate. Give me all your blue chips. Mate. That health uh, bar doesn't regenerate by itself. Awesome. So let's have a look. I've got this weapon now. What does this do? Weapon mods. Empty slot. I'm not going to upgrade in. I'm not going to upgrade in. Astral reload efficiency. Okay. Personal mod. Astral health boost. Health plus 25. Cool. What does that do? Nothing so far. Uh, welcome to the oldest house. Proceed further into the bureau. Jesse Fadden arrives at the oldest house, the headquarters of the Federal Bureau of Control, uh, to look for answers to the mysteries of her childhood. Guided through the guided into the building by the janitor Atty, Jesse finds Zachariah Trenchard, director of the bureau, shot dead. She picks up the pistol next to his body, and is translocated to the astral plane. Uh, the strange board encourages her to bind with bind the gun an object of power called a service weapon. She succeeds and the board informs her that she is now the director. I'm the director now. So I'm the director. Give me clearance. Right, there's going to have to be a trick to the combat because I feel like I took a bit of a beating off those guys. The hotline. The hotline? Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. Oh my goodness, this is weird. Okay. Oof. Oh. Oh my goodness, come on. Then shall I? Oh, hello, hello, hello. All right, there's more. What the 
hell? They just evaporated? Okay, so hopefully there'll be enough blue health elements on the floor to make me fall. So maybe that's it. Maybe there's some encounters you have to play a little bit cautious. Those are chattering voices are disturbing. Uh, agenda items for next executive meeting, rising costs of AWE responses, altered world experiences. We've now figured that out. Uh, update on mold eradication efforts. Upcoming annual salary review. New supplier of coffee filters to be found and vetted. Please come prepared, thank you. Thank you for your time. Well, you know, coffee filters, it's the important things, right? Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. That's me. Not me, like, obviously. That's the character I am. Have all the paintings changed? The paintings have changed. That's me now. Jesse Fadden. Hi. And also, when I came up here, there was a lift here. And there was paintings of landscapes there. Oh, mate. This this game's going to make me a little bit bonkers. My brain can't handle stuff like this. <laughs> I am a bit compulsive. I like order. I like things to be where they are. I don't like change. <laughs> now I'm playing a game that changes by itself. Oh. Dinner reservations. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Ches Ombre. Ches, Ches Ombre? Ches. Ches Ombre. Del boy trotter French there, ladies and gentlemen. Ches Ambre. <laughs> Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at the lobby reception. Remember, she's turning 46. Wow. Oh, there's loads of bits in red there. Uh, multimedia. Building shifts are red. Heard. Service weapon. Oop. 1KE. OOP. Uh, containment procedure. No unique procedures required. Description. Power, power utility. Uh, the object's form is variable. When bound, the object uh, allows. Para utilarians, maybe to something. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of something director. The object will determine whether you are worthy, like Thor's hammer, like Molnia. If rejected, the applicant applicant is terminated. Nice. Uh, the process is dictated by giant pyramid through their criteria though their criteria is unknown background the object was discovered inside the oldest house uh, in the room that is now used as the director's office the popular hypothesis many forms throughout history Molnar oh there we go <laughs> nice Excalibur Varunstasa Varunasta 
Varun Astra. Oh my god, can't words. All weapons that choose their wielders. If objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of an event. If this is the case, see Dr. Darling presentation. Okay, so the gun chooses you. That's good to know. Um. Oh, I didn't even fucking see that there, Jesus. Don't be any scary demon things. Right. You can shoot them. Oh, I'm not gonna. That's a prison toilet. Oh, missed the clip. Sorry. Director Trench photograph. Such, so much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege. Zachariah Trench. Uh, Marshall, we checked out the suspected ABUE in Duluth. Wasn't anything just like the house by before this and the malfunctioning closed drive before that. Uh, my team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort out fake AO AWEs from the real thing or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, we're en route to Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list, let's hope it's a little lovely there. Special Agent Keenum. Was that you? Aren't you Special Agent Keenum? That was a bit dramatic. I can't do anything with these. House memory. Undefined reading. Okay, so it is through this door. Doesn't appear to be anything over there. Central Executive. Oh, those titles are pretty cool. They have the definitely have an impact. Tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Yes. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Yeah, mate, it's weird. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control. Oh, I said I wasn't going to read that. Idiot. How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. That would be me, right? Start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. Nice. If they do not leave, <laughs> then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York City or just visiting? How did you find this place? If their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and that they need to leave. If their answers seem suspicious, escort them to a private room. There, perform the Gunner's psychological assessment. Uh, if their responses are within an acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet. Then terminate immediately. Escort out immediately. There's no such thing as too suspicious. Alright, these fucking guys. <laughs> Urban legends. Oh my goodness. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. Uh, we recognize them. We recognize certain informed by our own 
and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven urban we have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially created, maybe, in popular culture using uh, our bureau made an made anthology television programs. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomenon phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore. AWEs that occur on television, uh, a pair of scissors that consume human through two punctures on the vampire, maybe? Two punctures on the neck? These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they are paranormal realities waiting to happen. Weird. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you fucking hang in there. Jesus. Jeebus Cripes. What the hell is that? Is that a radio? Green means good, I'm going to go with. Green means good, green means go. Also, I didn't see what it was on when I arrived. That's that pyramid again. In the middle of the room. And all the red bad stuff. The hiss, apparently. Hmm, this looks significant. Um, uh oh. Oh, there's a big boy. There is a big boy. How are we doing? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Run, 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 run. See ya. So there's no like dynamic cover system, but I think there is enough that you can run around. Oh shit, bags. Give me some of your blues. What? Cleanse the control point. Cleanse the control point. Help me fix it. Exactly. Exactly, Jesse. What does that mean? Cool, I'm putting the building back to normal. Little bit of remodeling. Oh, nice. Holy shit. You did it. Yep. We did it. We did it. Hello. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Are you with us? Um, with the Bureau. I'm the director of Are the Bureau. Outfit. Astral dive suit. Oh, that's the uh, sci-fi. Stick with normal. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Oh, over there. Hello. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Doctor Darling's assistant. Hi. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. You're the director. Shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Can you please give me some fucking answers? <laughs> what, are they, are they playing laser tag? <laughs> Faden. 
Call me Jessie. Okay, Jessie. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this... Hiss? That works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. Yeah, it did. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? Yes, I did. How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Like, what's going not on? yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. But you're the director I of... I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? Um... We did it before. Push the hiss out. I think so. Maybe. That dude over there. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, over here. We need to make a. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Okay. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? Ground Zero? That he makes it sound... one of the big ones. Fucking... And before my time. Significant. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but... He's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. They're the laser tag things. And Director Trench would know. 
Trench, the ghost or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Well, if he Where knew how to destroy hotline? it, why did he kill himself? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Tomasi. They call cool. me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Is that what a Bakelite telephone is, maybe? That's the hotline that we need to get to. We've got the bat phone. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. Guys, please, please let me know in the comments selection if you know what's going on more than I do because I am a bit lost. So far, from what I can figure out, is something happened to Jesse as a child in a town called Ordinary. Mm, suspicious. Um, in a town called Ordinary, which had something to do with her brother, which had something to do with an altered world event. Uh, and uh, Emily Pope called recorded or referred to it as ground zero that normally in implies that something bad happened there right ground zero but she's now the director she's now wielding her molner excalibur weapon that chose her special gun but yeah this is this is weird this is genuinely a little bit weird but I'm intrigued. I'm like so far I've not played any of the Remedy games before. I didn't play Alan Wake and the other ones. Uh Quantum Quantum Break was it? Um But yeah, this is It's got me super invested already. I wanna know what happens. The story is intriguing. It's like captivating I just want to jump I want to burn through this and find out what the hell's going on but I'm not going to I'm going to explore and I like all the little lore pieces the the files and this and the, the audio files and stuff like that that are giving you a little bit of insight into the bureau and the lore behind what's going on so I'm hoping there's going to be lots more of those uh in the future in uh, to come in the game but yeah, this is weird. But a good kind of weird. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Uh, if you've got 
anything to say about the game or you, you if you're thinking it's weird as well leave a comment in the section below uh, and if you want to see more videos hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications uh you know what to do it's youtube everybody knows what to do but with that being said thank you for stopping by i hope you'll have a great day and i'll see you all in the next video peace